first of all, appreciate each and every one of you guys being here. Um, great, great venue for our team. What a great opportunity provided by the Pirates. And we really, really look forward to continuing this down the road. Uh, the story of the game, there's no doubt. It, we've always preached and talked about pitching and defense. And Mr. Snyder has done a great job for them all year in the midweeks. And he was outstanding again today, looking at 11 strikeouts, seven innings, three hits, one run. Uh, the one run being the gentleman to my right here. But uh, he was the ball game. You know, he kind of held us in check there. Early on, their offense did a great job. Uh, I feel like they, they have an older ball club, six out of nine, I believe, in our starting lineup for our juniors and seniors. And they are very talented in a number of different ways. They can drive the ball to the ballpark, they can hurt you with the speed game. And they kind of did a little bit of both there. They, they drove some balls in the gap, they used their speed. Uh, but again, they stretched the lead a little bit, but the story of the game was uh, Nick Snyder, his 11 strikeouts. With that being said, I'll go ahead and open up for questions. Anybody have questions? You can you know, describe the uh, throw you got seeing the ball go with Benson. It was pretty, pretty cool. Definitely uh, grew up coming to the Pirate game, so to be able to play um, here tonight was pretty, pretty awesome. You got to feel the knockout that home run in the second inning. Uh, I mean, just felt like any other game, really. Just do. I just saw a pitch, good pitch, and just put a good swing on it. Luckily, it went over the fence, but I mean, nothing really different from any other game. That's a tough left field for 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 pull hitters. Did you kind of know when you saw it down the line? Did you kind of know that it had a shot in that one spot right down the line there? I mean, I don't know. Not really. I was just running hard out of the box. Luckily, it went over the fence and stayed fair too. It's kind of crazy watching ball games here. You don't really realize until you're actually playing a ball game. You're 410 in left center there. And as you said, that's, it's deep out there. It, it, in batting practice, it really served as a great guard. It's kind of ironic that both balls that we had hit really well were kind of down the left field line. Nico's home run and then Cole's three run homer late. And I guess if we're going to pull a ball, that's definitely the place to, to put it. One thing that we really talked about from the get go with our program is creating memories. And that was part of our conversation after the game. You know, we're judged by wins and losses, but what we're trying to do is create experiences and create memories for these guys. And what a better way for a young man growing up here in Pittsburgh to hit a home run in PNC Park against a rival. Uh, Cole McLaren, you couldn't have drawn it up any better his last two games. On senior day, he hits a home run in his last at bat at, at cost. Uh, and, and then tonight to do what he did there at the end. So creating memories are what we did tonight and we'll continue to you know, strive for excellence and continue to get better on the scoreboard as well. Coach, on that point by creating memories, how does this couple with that series win over North Carolina uh, this past week? Well, it encompasses a little bit of what we're trying to build here. You know. I had somebody ask me a pretty tough question the other day, like, what, what, you know, did, what did you feel after, you know, did, it was like you got the monkey off your back winning a series? I'm like, no, it wasn't. We expect to win series. We expect to win ball games. And that's, we have an expectation each and every time we put on this uniform to represent it the right way. And we will continue to push that way. It's a growth process going on with this program. I've seen the growth over the last two, three, four weeks. I've seen difference from day one. And, and these guys are continuing to learn the game. They're trusting each other. There's a lot more sense of belief. I can tell you this, early in the season, Cole McLaren wouldn't have hit a three-run homer. A lot of guys would have folded the tent there because you're down 9-1. But no, we're going to fight you for 27. Nico, can you remember the first game you came to here and what the circumstances were where you your dad, your grandfather, and 10 year old or whatever, did you, did you think at that time about maybe getting a chance to play here sometime? Uh, I mean, I used to come with my mom and dad when we were, when I was probably like six years old. We'd sit out in left field. But, like, no, I never really thought I'd be able to play here. So, getting the opportunity to do so tonight was pretty cool. Nico, do you have a lot of people in the stands? Uh, yeah, some of my uh, family that lives around here came out to the game. What's it like hitting a home run in PNC Park in front of? It was pretty 
people and you can make them proud. Just um, for them to be there, it's just awesome. Anybody else? Uh, uh, you had talked earlier, Mike, about wanting to build this this appropriate park or around that idea of creating memories. Um, you know, I guess as you know, I guess as a specialist in incidents like tonight, what I mean, how much of a focus do you feel like there's going to be moving forward and maybe trying to play games here a little more regularly? Well, we don't want to. Well, we'd love to play every day, but they, I think they've got something else that goes on here too. Um, and obviously, we've got a great relationship. You know, Frank, Bob, Neil, they've, they've done a great job of communicating with us, uh, open arms, but we also have to fit within their schedule. And, um, you know, they're great baseball minds, great baseball people, and we want to continue that. You know, you don't want to, I don't want to say get greedy, but I'd love to play Penn State and West Virginia here every year. I really would, if the schedule works. And that has to work with the Pirates, but it also has to work with Penn State, it has to work with West Virginia. So there's a lot of scheduling that has to go on there. Um, but it's about creating memories for these student athletes, and we can create them in a lot of different ways. Um, next year, we just so happen that our opening conference series is in Miami. We have spring break right after it. We're playing in Tampa on Tuesday against USF. I'd love to be in Pirate City there on Monday showing these guys what professional baseball has to go through so they can learn by watching some of the best out there. Uh, but having that relationship, they've been great. We look forward to the future of it. It was great to see the, uh, both Frank and Bob in the stands tonight. Uh, you know, we just want to continue to provide these opportunities for these young men and allow them to create memories like hit the home run at PNC Park. Will you talk about playing in Bradenton uh, with, with the Pirates in the offseason? I, I, I would like to, but again, there's, there's a lot of scheduling that goes involved with that. And you know, they have to prepare their guys. Um, there's scheduling that goes on with our guys as well. There's small windows to work with. I've been at other places before where you know, we played the Phillies or the Yankees. And, even back in the mid '90s, when I played at Florida State, we played the Marlins, like their, one of their first spring trainings. So it can happen, but there's a lot of small scheduling windows that have to work with that, and it has to be the right thing for them as well as us. Anybody else? 